Warning, the following video contains spoilers. If you think this may interfere with your experience, revisit my channel and watch another video. What is going on guys, Gia here and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 legendary hunting video. In this one we're going to be taking out the legendary pronghorn, which is located in the epilogue after you beat the main story. Once you beat the first few missions in the epilogue, you'll gain your ability to free roam once again, and you'll be able to travel to New Austin to take on the final three animals. So as always, we're going to look at our turn in rewards for killing the pronghorn so that way you guys can see what you obtain and how you want to prioritize this animal as opposed to other ones and create an order for yourself. So as always, we're going to go to Saint Denis to turn this in. Now you're probably wondering, well, you're all the way in New Austin, so how am I getting to St. Denis 123 via horseback? You're actually going to go to Armadillo, which is a town near the Hunt Marker. You're going to follow my cursor, and we're actually going to board a stagecoach, which will give us the ability to travel back to St. Denis for the quick turn-in. Just make sure you have the fun- Make sure you don't leave your horse in front of the stagecoach sign unless you want it to be the victim of- Potential traffic abuse. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to head to the fence over in St. Denis, which is next to the trapper. And we're going to trade in our pronghorn horn for the pronghorn horn trinket, which is going to stop animals on horseback from spoiling. And I really wish they introduced that one on an earlier animal so that way we could have got more use out of it. Now we're going to head over to our trapper and you're going to sell your pronghorn hide and the carcass which I lost when my horse got ran over. But no worries if you lose yours it'll be with the trapper himself. We're going to sell those and we'll be able to craft clothing. The legendary pronghorn coat which you'll need additional material for and the pronghorn range gloves which you will also need additional material for. I just so happen to have a perfect muskrat pelt apparently. Not sure how I got it but but I got lucky on that because I haven't even gone about trying to get the perfect pelts yet to craft additional items. So we're going to head over to the location now for the pronghorn ram. And as you can see, once again, we're beyond Blackwater. So this is definitely post game, hence the spoiler warning in the beginning of the video. So now if you're going to travel all the way out here, once again, make sure that you have the funds to fast travel back with your horse to Saint Denis for the quick turn in on the rewards. Once you get to my marker location, you're gonna activate your eagle eye and look for the golden sprinkles above your first clue. You're gonna inspect said clue and then you'll follow the trail until it meets an N. That's your sign to activate your eagle eye again and look for more golden sprinkles above another clue. You'll rinse and repeat until you find your animal. In terms of recommended loadout, any long range repeating rifle with a full dead eye meter is all you need. You do not need cover scent for any of these hunts. Me personally, I've never used it. That's just my style. Everyone's different. So feel free to add it to your play if you feel like it's going to help you. But that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to cut my commentary here and thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy this series, definitely feel free to check out the playlist on my YouTube channel. Leave a like on this video and sub to the channel for more. Thank you so much. We're getting close to the end here, guys. It's been a fun series. And again, just thank you for your support. This has been Gia. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Later. We must be near.